welcome to Greg and Mortis's Little World of Horror. This is my slash from the stash. This is going to be a weekly movie review section on my YouTube channel that every week you're going to be able to tune in, see me review a movie. 99% uh, of them will be straight up horror. Might throw a little comedy or something in every once in a while. Probably not much, but it will be mostly horror. But I will be doing a movie review where I'll just look in depth with a movie with you and let you know what I thought about it. And I racked my brain. I went on Facebook and sent out some uh, you know, questions. Who or what movies would you want me to review? And I had some really good titles come up. And of course everyone was like, Greg and Mortis, you got to do Halloween first. You know, my favorite film of all time, 1979. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do Halloween, but... It is one of my favorite all time. It's just not a lot I could add to a movie review like that. I might do it in the near future. But for my first one, man, what better time than to review a film that has just released. Uh, actually, on my May 11th Blu-ray DVD update, talked about this when I had just picked it up. So I thought, what better time than now to go ahead and do this review. And it's none other than the film Compound Fracture. And this one is from Level 33 Production and also Main Entertainment. And like I said, I just picked this up the day it was released. And $9.96 at Walmart. And let's get you a good picture of that close up. Uh, this one did hit Tyler and his wife Renee. And even some of the cast members had uh, did an actual tour with this film and tried to uh, do a lot of promoting for this. And so with that, I mean, and this was the slip cover case, you can get it at Walmart for $9.96. But I want to look at this movie a little bit with you fans and let you know what I thought about it. Um, as I'm recording this, I just finished watching it probably about two or three hours ago for the first time. And I've got to tell you, I was really, really thrilled with this movie. I mean, this one... I was actually excited about when I got done and I'm gonna tell you a few reasons why but before I get into that I want to go ahead and let you know I mean this one stars Tyler Maine who uh, many of you fans will know him mainly in the horror genre as Michael Myers from Rob Zombie's films but he was Sabretooth and X-Men he's been a professional wrestler in the day he was in the movie Joe Dirt I mean he's done a lot of stuff but for the horror community I know we typically know him as Michael Myers. Awesome guy. This also stars his wife Renee. And um, I really thought that uh, Renee Gerland's done a tremendous job in her character role as well. And you also got the very talented Muse Watson. You've also got, and he was also now, keep this in mind, you got Tyler Maine who was Michael Myers. You've got Muse Watson who played Ben from I Know What You Did Last Summer, the killer in that. And then you also got Derek Mears, who played uh, Jason in the new Fre uh, Jason reboot, Friday the 13th. So you had three serial slasher killers in this film to start off with. You also have Todd Farmer, and we love Todd Farmer. He's been on Land of the Creeps multiple times uh, with different commentaries and whatnot. Todd's just super badass dude from uh, writer of My Bloody Valentine 3D. Uh, Jason X, he's done Drive Angry, he's done so many good things, man. I really like Todd Farmer, he's such a talent. And he's in this one, also Dan Daniel Roebuck, who was in Rob Zombie's Halloween and a lot of other films as well. But um, a few others I was looking at, you got Miss Motherfly herself, Leslie Easterbrooks in this one. You got Alex Saxon, who plays the character of Brandon, and Susan Angelo, who plays Chloe. and that's kind of your main cast but you know there were some support actors in it as well but to kind of give you a plot for this movie uh, I'll read it off the DVD box you know exactly the way it is but now I'll give you kind of my take on it, it says after the gruesome death of his sister uh, sister's husband Michael Wolfson played by Halloween's Tyler Maine returns home with his fiance and his recently orphaned nephew to take care of his father Gary played by Muse Watson Gary has changed much since the last time Michael saw him. He's become extremely paranoid that a supernatural force is out to get him, and he's obsessed with making his home an unassailable compound. Uh, while Michael and his family 
I initially believe that Gary is suffering from symptoms of dementia. Uh, it goes on to say they soon discover that Gary has a reason to be scared. Something truly evil is lurking outside the house and it won't stop until it kills off every last member of the Wolfson family. I immediately I've got to tell you this this film starts off with a really cool intro when I'm saying that the opening credits and I've said this on Land of the Creep, Creeps numerous times that in order for you to have a really good film to have a really good especially a horror movie it's really really important that that opening credit grabs you and gives you something to make you want to hold on and watch this movie this one had a really good opening. It kind of gives you a background. It's a flashback. And I don't remember exactly what year it was, but it was definitely, you know, way back in the past of some things that happened uh, with an individual. So it kind of sets the mood of what this film's going to be about. And then you're introduced, you know, after the opening credits to Tyler Maine, who uh, is playing the character of Michael. <laughs> I wonder if that was a throw off on Michael Myers, I don't know, but anyways, you got, you know, Tyler playing the character of Michael, you got his wife, uh, uh, Renee, who's playing the character of his fiance Juliet, and then you've got this young kid, Alex Saxon, who plays Brandon. Now, Brandon is the nephew of Michael, and it's basically Michael's sister, who, as we read in the plot, her husband had died, and we find out that Chloe, of course, has died as well. And so Brandon is kind of a troubled teen, and he's kind of took home with Michael. Michael has took over, and they, they're kind of raising uh, Brandon. And then all things, they, they find out about the father, uh, Gary, who's played by Muse Watson, and what they're doing is, is going to the home, and they're going to try to uh, take care of Gary. You know, he, he's not in his right frame of mind in his stepmom's uh, eyes as far as you know she, Leslie Easterbrook's character who's Annabella has called Michael and has basically told him I mean he's out of his mind so basically we get to see that set up with Michael and his uh, fiance showing up with Brandon and immediately they show up to this compound it's like this big uh, steel door that opens and then they come in there's security cameras everywhere uh, weird stuff going on when they walk up to the house Gary comes out and Gary is just uh, doesn't really know who Michael is at the time uh, he kinda figures it until uh, Annabella uh, which is Leslie Easterbrook says you know this is your son Michael and he says Junior and Michael looks at him and says don't call me Junior now Michael and his dad Gary did not have a good relationship. Gary was very abusive as a young, uh, young father. So Michael, you know, left home early. He didn't want nothing to do with his father. Now he's coming back. So all that setting up to where Michael's here to take care of his father, but he has a lot of you know hatred toward his dad. But when he comes in, the house is like immaculate looking, but it's all just decked out with all these symbols and and crazy things on floors and walls and and with the security cameras and recorders everywhere it's just weird setup so you're like what in the world is this movie about and it takes a little while I'm gonna be honest it takes a little while to figure out what's going on the dad is paranoid now Gary is paranoid he's constantly seeing things he's hearing things and eventually that starts rolling off onto Michael and and to Juliet and to Brandon to the point they start seeing things they start hearing things so you know it's almost like they're feeling like maybe something's going on but they still in the back of their mind think it's just that that their father Gary is having that those symptoms of dementia so it's not until toward the end that all hell breaks loose and you realize something truly is going on here and then you're introduced to the character of Derek Mears who, my God, man, he plays the character William, who would have been Brandon's father. Derek Mears, to me, all the acting in this film is superb. I mean, it's really, really good. The camera angles are awesome. It looks really good. It sounds good. Um, it, it's, it's a really well-made film. And 
you add into the element that Derek Mears shows up, and this dude, man, he is creepy as hell. Uh, does such an awesome job in this film that I felt like he just took a really good film and made it a really, really good film with his acting and his eyes and his expressions. and It was just awesome to see Derek Mears, Jason, and Tyler Maine, Michael Myers having battles against each other. Something that is just like a wet dream to us horror fans and we got to see it right here in Compound Fracture. And it was awesome to see. Uh, I'm not a spoiler kind of guy, so I will not give no spoilers away. But I will say that it took about the first 30 minutes or so of this film to kind of set you up. So it's slow at the beginning. Now don't get me wrong, it's not in a bad slow. It kept me entertained, but it is slow, a little bit confusing. But once everything starts coming in place, the ending of this movie, man, I'm talking like the last 30, 40 minutes of this movie is just unbelievably cool. A lot of action, a lot of fighting, a lot of just supernatural stuff going on. It's really well done, and I'm very excited. I mean, this movie, oh man, just had my attention at point one all the way up to point 55 or whatever points you want to put on, however many there was. Uh, like I said, the acting is really good. The camera effects are really good. And there was a good uh, uh, kind of haze to this film. It kind of like, I don't know what colors they used, but it was kind of almost had like a pinkish tone to it at times, which I kind of thought worked because it kind of gave you a uh, different crispness to the film, if that makes sense, that... Uh, all the shots were just beautifully done. The set pieces, the house, uh, scenes where Michael and, and Juliet and Brandon are pulling up to the compound. They got some mountains in the background with some lightning going on. Just It was well done, and I love the atmosphere of this film. And at the end, man, I was totally just blown away to the point that I'm ready to watch it again. Literally, I would watch it right now again. It's that good. I've seen some reviews where people said that it seemed like the second and third viewing it got better because they had maybe missed a part or two or something wasn't quite as clear to them the first time. So from the reviews I'm reading, it's like each time you watch it, it gets better and better. So I don't know how it's going to get much better for me, but I will definitely be watching it again. There again, Derek Mears was phenomenal. Tyler Maine, as always, very excellent. And Renee, I thought, was a great screen presence, man. I'm telling you, she just pulled off her character and just absolutely loved her acting. And Brandon, uh, as a young guy, Alex Saxon, I'm telling you, he's probably, I'm going to guess, you know, below 21. I thought he'd done really good. Uh, of course, Todd Farmer's character, who there's a really good scene, fans. Watch Todd Farmer and watch the scene that has him in it and Daniel Roebuck. I enjoyed that. Um, if you like Supernatural, the TV show Supernatural, this has some of those elements in it. Uh, when I say that, like when you watch Supernatural, they've always got these rituals they do. They always have these symbols all over the place where they can uh, bind a spirit or they can cast a demon out or whatever. You get some of that in this film. And I'm a huge fan of Supernatural, so that really just added another enjoyment for me. Um, like I said, the makeup effects, really well done. There is some good scenes in this one with some uh, gore that I think you uh, gore hounds will enjoy. I uh, thought they'd done that really well. Uh, the script was really tight. I mean, even though it does, like I said, the first 30 minutes may seem a little confusing to you as you start watching it. You might be thinking in your mind, where are they going with this? Hang in there and know that toward the end of this movie, you will know what happens. All the pieces finally, like a puzzle, come together, and you will finally understand what this movie's about. I really believe that, and I think this is definitely going to be one of them that you're like, damn, I'm glad I watched it. Number one, uh, filmed by Main Entertainment. They're currently working on Penance Lane, their second one. Uh, I'm looking really forward to what Tyler Main and his wife Renee are going to continue to do with Main Entertainment. I hope they continue to put out films like this. I know Penance Lane is going to be a, a uh, 
kind of a killing slashing style movie as well so you know who knows what these two and other people that are involved are going to do they're getting these great talented people with them so I'm very excited for Main Entertainment, for Tyler, for Renee, and just for the whole crew, man. I just want to tell you, Compound Fracture, great job, guys. Very impressed. Derek Mears, man, you just went up 14 notches in my level, brother, with your acting. So great job. Of course, Todd Farmer, uh, Muse Watson, Leslie Easterbrook, Angel Sachs, every one of you, man. Great job. Alex Saxon, I'm sorry, brother. And all of you, man, great job. Glad I finally got to watch it. So you know what my rating is on this. I will not be doing a rating like Lands of the, Land of the Creeps where I do a 1 to 10 rating. My ratings on these uh, YouTube videos are going to be this. It's either going to be a thumbs up bite, it's going to be a thumbs down for trash it, or it'll be a half thumbs for rent it. This one right here is a double thumbs up, must own. Uh, hope to God. Please, Tyler, please, Main Entertainment, release this on Blu-ray. Give me a Blu-ray. Uh, it's got filmmaker's commentary. I've not had a chance to do that. I did watch the outtakes, which were hilarious, man. I'm telling you, you got to watch these outtakes. It's got behind-the-scenes photo gallery, different things like that, and also uh, some upcoming features by Level 33. Uh, get you a good close-up, hopefully. You can check out some of the scene shots there, the screenshots focus it in real good but anyways very impressed with this film it is a double thumbs up this is a must own go ahead and get out there fans and get your hands on this nine dollars ninety six cent at Walmart uh, I know I think Amazon had sold out and I think are getting more copies of it so wherever you can find it get your hands on it I know it's a Greg Amortis approved 100 percent a must own film get it gotta have it so with that this is my very first movie review update up on this YouTube channel. I will be doing this each and every week. I uh, will probably release every Sunday, so stay tuned. And uh, be sure to comment below what you thought of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it. And uh, leave me some comments and let me know of other movies you'd like for me to review. Keep in mind, it'll only be movies that I physically own or screeners or links that producers directors actors give me to watch you know to review so i will do those but other than that it'll only be movies that i own so if you comment and you say i need you to review this movie i want you to review this one if i don't own it uh, give me a little time to search it out find it and i'll buy it and do that for you but in the meantime it'll be out of my collection of movies that i have whether blu-ray or dvd so with that please thumbs up share it comment and let me know what you thought of this video this is greg amortis signing out for my slash from the stash movie review hope you enjoyed it compound fracture must own dig it brother <laughs>